Um, happy with the win. You know, really, really happy about how we played in the first half. I uh, thought we did some really good things, being aggressive. Uh, the press looked really good in the first half. Uh, obviously did a, a great job getting the ball in the paint to Kingsley and, and Marcus and, and, and getting drives from, from our guards as well uh, to shoot 70% from the field in the first half. Uh, second half, I think our guys got a little too loose. Um, kind of kind of let their guard down a little bit. But, you know, Cal Poly's a good team. Um, they hit some unbelievable shots at the end. And um, a lot of them, I think I'm pretty sure, I'm going to look at the film, but I'm pretty sure we were, we were there. They were very contested shots. And so, um, very happy with the win, though. You mentioned getting the ball inside. What did you guys do so much better getting it We just emphasized it. Just emphasize it all. You know, we had a day day prep and um, watched film, talked about it, and um, today, you know, I had individual meetings with some of the guards. You know, and say, you know, we got to do a better job of getting those guys the ball. You know, it, it's it's just you get those guys the ball. Now they're going to rebound a little bit better. Now they're going to they're, they're going to do a better job on the defensive end. It just it just makes those guys feel better to know that they can get touches and. and um, you know, I think it's just, it's, just, it's just better for everybody. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, what did they do against the zone in the second half that led you to go back? This is all drive and kick. It's all drive and kick. And typically in the zone, you like to bump. You like to, you know, kind of crowd the ball handler and then fan out as they make the pass, wherever they, they decide to make the pass. But we, we had to tell our guys after a while that, you know, to stay home on shooters and let Kingsley contest late on on, on penetration, and um, they still hit tough shots. Even even in, in making that adjustment, they still hit tough shots. And um, you know, what can you do about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like to see the numbers and watch it, but I think that it, it was okay. You know, they I mean they outscored us. You know by 11 in the second half. So uh, none of the defenses were great in the second half, you know, if I'm being honest. And, um, you know, luckily we were able to score, still continue to score and, 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 and end up with the win. What do you think of, of Don's switch Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. You know, he, he played with a better pace tonight. He didn't look out of control. Uh, he still ended up with his 30, you know, and, and – um, you know, he played. He played an unbelievable game tonight. He was very good for us, and um, you know, his teammates see it. We see it. You know, hopefully, he continues to play that way. What did uh, put the justice to the starting line? Well, justice is on that second line of the press. Justice is very, very good. He has, a, he, as you guys can can see, as everyone can see, he has a great feel for the game. Uh, so he gave us a little bit more defensive presence. Uh, he's a bigger body down there on the on the back of the zone. Um, he gives us some rebounding and some size at that position. John said that you told him, obviously, you, know, you need to get down, like, make better shots, but also to stay aggressive. When he goes to yeah. First. Yeah, I told Don, I said, in transition, do what you need to do. You know, he's very good in transition. He has great body control, great handle. He's tough. He, he, he does a great job drawing contact. I said, in transition, be aggressive. Be you. I said, it's in the half court set that you need to be a little bit more selective with, with, your, with your shots. And um, give those guys a look first. King and Marcus, they don't have a problem kicking out when they get double teamed. You know, so if they're double teamed, then, then somebody's open. On a kick out, swing, swing, we should get a wide open look or drive. Um, so he, he took it well. And... Um, you know, I'm happy that he, he had this kind of game because it's a lesson for him. Marcus and King uh, combined for uh, eight attempts in the foul. And that's obviously really good for your main thing. Mm -hmm. um, how much of an emphasis was placed on them in the offseason for the foul shooting? And what have they done to do that? We just, at the end of every practice, we just get a ton of shots up. You know, it's just repetition, just repetition, repetition, repetition. That's all free throws is. You know, and, and I think, you know, also just the maturity level of being seniors. You know, just just being seniors and, and being through it before and, and 
not getting nervous at the free throw line. Um, I think that's the key with those guys. First and eight threes were in the second half. From your perspective, was it more defensive breakdowns or were they just making tough shots? They're making tough shots. They're making tough shots. Like I said, I need to watch the film, but in my, from what I, <laughs> from from my vantage point, it looked like they were contested shots. That we contested the shot. It was it was one or two that they up faked us and we we jumped, and uh, but they were contested threes.